YouTube, we're back again for another game review, another special tag team review. I'm here with my son, Sean, and today we're going to be checking out That's Not Lemonade from Tuesday Night Games. This is for ages 8 plus, taking about 10 minutes to play, and it's for 2 to 6 players. And in That's Not Lemonade, this is a super simple press your luck game where you're going to try to have the most lemons each round, won't you? But what's the bad thing that can happen? You get a green card and it says... That's not lemonade. What do you think it is then? P. Ooh. Yeah, and if you get that, you are out of the round. So you're trying to be the first person to get three lemons, in which case you'll win the game. So it's super light, super simple. Sean can play it, I can play it, but is it good? Let's open it up, and we'll tell you what we think. All right, then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of That's Not Lemonade. So first and foremost, we have our handy-dandy rule sheet. It's just what you see right here. Uh, very short, very concise, should have you up and running in no time at all until you get to the last part of the rule sheet, which actually they had a big screw-up on. It should say the first person to win three lemons wins the game. It actually says three rounds, which in certain instances would actually be physically impossible. So that, that is a pretty big screw-up there. But let's go over what's in That's Not Lemonade. So in That's Not Lemonade, you're trying to get three of these lemons right here. You're going to do that by either being the only person to survive a round or being the person to survive a round and who has the most lemons in front of them. You're going to do that in a purely press-your-luck style game. So let's go over the components. Let's get into the gameplay. So first, everybody's going to get one of these little red solo cups in front of them. This is going to tell you whether or not people want to tap it down and draw cards whether they want to pass on their turn or whether they are dead because they drank That's Not Lemonade. Uh, next, each player is going to get one of these little really nice and thick, sturdy cards, which is going to tell you all the cards that are in the game. So you're going to have eight lemons, two double lemons, four ice, and four That's Not Lemonade tiles. These are a nice little player reference. Last, you're going to have the deck, which will include all these cards right here. What you're going to do is you're going to take turns, being the dealer. You're going to shuffle up the cards. You're going to remove one card out of the game, so it'll never be perfect knowledge no matter what. And then you are going to start dealing around the table. So you start with up, it up like this. And we'll just pretend that this guy's the dealer, so this person's going to go first. And they're going to tap it down on the table. They're going to take a card. They're going to secretly look at that card to see what it is. It is ice. Now, what ice is, is it's purely for tiebreakers. Uh, so right now, this person would be winning a tiebreaker if everyone had zero lemons, which would never end right there, but, you know, whatevs. But they're not dead. Because if you reveal a That's Not Lemonade, then you must immediately flip your guy over, reveal the card, because you are dead. So now it goes over to this person right here. They have to decide whether or not they're going to flip it over, aka not take a card, or tap it down. So they're a little bit paranoid. They're actually going to flip it over and say, you know what, I'm passing right now. Now here is why that's not always a good idea. Because what could happen in the very off chance is that this person could get tipped over, and this person could get tipped over, or they could get flipped over, in which case the round would be over. Because once everyone is either upside down or flipped over, that's one of the three ways the round can end. The other ways the round can end is if all of the That's Not Lemonade cards have been revealed, or if all of the cards are gone. So let's be real realistic here, and let's just say that this person probably is going to tap, they're going to ask for, boom, another card. So they flip it, and they put it right there, they secretly look at it, and it's a double lemon, so that counts as two lemons, very, very good, moving on to the next person, they're going to tap right here, oh, that's not lemonade, bam, they're out of the round, just like that. Luckily though, the rounds are pretty quick, so it's not that big of a deal. So now it's between this person and this person, this guy's like, uh, I don't have any lemons, yeah, so I'm going to tap it down flips it over. Oh, that's not lemonade. And just like that, this person has won the round. So what do they do when they win the round? Well, first thing they're going to do is they're going to get themselves a victory point, aka a lemon card. They'll tuck it down under here to show that they have one point, and you need three of those points to win the game. Not three rounds, three points. You're going to take all the cards, including the card that was taken off to the side right here. You're going to shuffle them back up. You will be uh, past the, the deck to the person to the left. They are the new dealer. And then you are going to rinse, wash, and repeat. Now what gets interesting, though, is that these numbers have now changed because that person still has the victory. Point. So instead of there being eight lemons, two double lemons, four ice, and four that's not lemonades, there's now seven lemons, two doubles, and, and everything else. So the game will get more difficult as you progress through as people are taking the point cards. And in fact, once you get towards the end of the game, especially at the higher player counts, eventually it will get to the point where it's almost kind of like sudden death where someone will be winning a double lemon, aka two out of the three points they need to win the game. Once someone's able to get three points, they will be the winner of That's Not Lemonade. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. <clears throat> All 
Alrighty then, that's not Lemonade from Tuesday Night Games. What are our final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, what did you not like about the game, show? I didn't like when I got That's Not Lemonade. Yeah, because your rounds can be over very abruptly in this game. Like, you're just having fun, having a good old time, you flip over a green card, and boom, you're done with the round, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So it's really short-term elimination. Like, you're going to be back playing pretty soon because the rounds go by so quick, but it does have that aspect of the game. So there can be some downtime in between turns, especially if you get eliminated a lot. Now, for me personally, uh, two to six players is a great player count. I really like the player count, but two players, it didn't do it for me. I, it just it just felt kind of cheap when you flip over cards. It's like, oh, that's not lemonade. I guess you win the round. Cool, fun stuff. Um, I liked it best at, honestly, I liked it at all the different player counts, just not at two players. We played at three players, didn't we? We had a lot of fun. I played at six players, five players, and four players all in the class, and I enjoyed every single game, but two players just can't recommend this as a two-player game. Yes, you can play it, but it's not that good. Uh, continuing on with the cons, I wish it was, I wish it did have more players. I just talked about how much I like the player count, but honestly, and you can smush together more copies, but I wish there was like, it went up to seven or eight, but that's more of a, a nitpick than anything, because honestly, it's telling you how much I like the game. Now, one big issue that I have with the game is that there's a misprint in the rules, and it's a huge misprint. I want to explain what the misprint is and why it's a big deal. So in the rules, it says that you have to win three rounds to win the game. But what it should say is that you have to win three lemons to win the game. Because here's the thing, in a five or six player game, there can be scenarios where you can't win three rounds because when you win a round, you take a lemon card and there's only ten lemon cards in the game. What it actually should read is you win three lemons and you win the game. And that actually adds like these super intense sudden death rounds you could potentially get into it in the higher player counts where someone is actually going to be winning double lemons. They're going to win two points at one time. And it just makes it so that even if you're in last place and you only have one point, you can still come back to win. And I really like that. Like that's one of the coolest aspects of the game, which is taken away. And that being said, I mean, the game would actually be broken in some scenarios if you didn't know that was how you were supposed to play. Uh, any other cons that I have with the game? Um, it's very light. It's very simple. It's just pure... Uh, press your luck and bluffing so if you're hoping for some more layers to this game this one might not be for you that's what we got on the con side i think because moving on to the pros did you like that's not lemonade and i got a cons i don't like when i get ice you don't like when you get ice yeah uh, yeah, so that's, that's, ice is kind of like the tiebreaker in the game, where if you, it's just a tiebreaker, and so yeah, if you get ice that first time, you kind of have to keep going for lemonade, but you also can just kind of bluff, which is fun too, uh, but yeah, that's another con in the game. Moving on to the pros, did you like this game? Yes. Did you love this game? Yes. Yeah, I, I am in agreement. Honestly, that's not lemonade is fantastic, and if it wasn't for the rules misprint, I think I'd slap a Bowers best on it. That's how much I like the game because there's a couple things that i really like about this game and i'll get to you in a second okay buddy but the biggest one is that i can play it with my five-year-old i can play this in a bar i can play this at my game night as a lightweight filler i can play this as a gateway game i can play this as a family get to guy family get together style game like this is the ultimate chameleon game which i love 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 but let's talk about what you like what do you like about the game buddy what's something that you really enjoyed about it i enjoyed when i didn't get ice when you didn't get ice yeah getting ice ice sucks everybody hates ice um mm -hmm. you like the artwork though didn't you mm -hmm. so which was your favorite card the robot yes so there is distinctive cards you get you, you get like this player a card in front of you and it could have just had numbers but it actually has really well done artwork that's this nice looking artwork he's got a super cool robot that he likes uh i've got one that i really like it's really well done artwork and component wise I feel like the components are great in this. Like the box is very nice and very sturdy. There's even a nice little box insert that's in there. It doesn't need to be in there, but it's in there and it makes the game look better. You like the cups a lot, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, he likes playing with the cups and utilizing the cups. And I like the cups functionality because it really helps see who's in, who's out. Uh, you know, it, you're not going to have any confusion because you're supposed to tap it when you want a card. You're supposed to flip it over or you flip it to the side when you're dead. I Well, not when you're dead, when you drink pee or whatever it is. I really like the functionality of the game. One of my favorite aspects of the game, though, is without a doubt how the scoring system works. And the fact that when you win points, it's not just victory points, but actually cards being taken out of the game. So from the first round to the last round, it's going to have a different feel as 
it goes from being, hey, there's 14 cards that are not going to hurt you and only four that are going to hurt you to, hey, now there's 13, now there's 12, now there's 11, now there's 10. And if you're playing, you know, seven, eight, nine rounds, it gets super intense because there's a lot of that's not lemonades compared to regular cards once you get towards the end. And I like how that works a lot, which is a really big bummer on that rule screw up. Um, cheap price point, small box. You could teach this to your friends, couldn't you? He really could. He could take this into his kindergarten classroom and he could teach this to his teacher and to his friends. No problem. It's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. It's not going to scare anybody away. It has good table appeal. People will be laughing. People will be bluffing. People will be pressing your luck. And it's a lot of fun. And in the end, that's not lemonade. This is going to stay on our shelf, isn't it? Mm. This is going to stay on our shelf as long as we have a shelf. And eventually there's going to be another little baby that's not lemonade because we're going to want to go up to 12 players with this bad boy. I think so for family get togethers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that is That's Not Lemonade from Tuesday Night Games. It is fantastic. If you're looking for a game for just about any situation, I feel like this is going to work. Except for like, you know, a game night style game, uh, in which case it's only lightweight filler. That's Not Lemonade, Tuesday Night Games, highly recommended from us, correct? Fantastic. Was there anything else you liked about the game, buddy? Nothing you can think of, really? Nope. All right. That is That's Not Lemonade from Tuesday Night Games. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know what's your favorite thing to drink in the whole wide world. If you could have a big old glass of anything right here, what would you want, buddy? Mm. I know it's a tricky one. It's kind of hot down here. Real thirsty. How about you just give me one of your favorite drinks of all time? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I like that a lot. We don't have much soda pop at our house, do we? So Dr. Pepper is the bomb when we do get it. Uh, very good choice. That was actually your Uncle Sean who died. That was his favorite drink. Did you know that? <laughs> For me personally, I will have to go with, I don't know if it's quite a drink. I'm going to go with a milkshake. That sounds really good right now, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Frosty chocolate milkshakes. But let me know in the comments below. What is your drink of choice? And as always, thanks for your time. Here we go. We're going to rock this one. We're going to rock it hard. We're going to rock it hard? What? What's the giggle mean? We're going to rock this? Like, it's funny. I know, but are we going to rock it, dude? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Because if we weren't going to rock it, I mean, what's, what's the point? <laughs> All right.